Rated M for Mature. Gears of War 4 is already proving to be one of the most engrossing competitive multiplayer experiences of the year, with game modes to suit every kind of player. But whereas some tactics are specific to the game type, how you control your character and exploit the environment to your advantage holds true across the board. So in this video, we're going to cover three basic principles you need to master. Success for your own team doesn't simply come from popping enemies like overfilled offal balloons. You also need to focus on keeping your own keys to safe, and the best way to stay safe is to stay on the move. Avoid going lone wolf whenever possible, and as you and your teammates move around the map, try to keep low and hidden from the whistling of enemy lead. Pick your cover points in advance, and always try to roadie run from A to B, as you'll be much harder to hit. When you do find yourself in closer proximity to the opposition, again it pays to keep moving. Sliding from cover to cover can help buy you that extra heartbeat to line up a decisive Nasher Blast, making it rain soggy meat. Once you've got this down, you can even try your hand at wall bouncing. Through perfectly timed taps of the cover button, you can very quickly change direction, helping you land killer blows and making you even harder to hit yourself. It's hugely important to remember that Gears is a team game, and as such, one of your most powerful weapons doesn't even have ammo, the TACCOM. By holding down the TACCOM button, you can keep tabs on your companion's whereabouts, especially important as by keeping your head down, you'll often lose direct line of sight. Resistance will not be this will enable you to easily identify combat hotspots and add your weight of firepower to help tip the scales. TACCOM also has the benefit of highlighting any power weapons that have been placed down on the map, so use it regularly and you can always be the first to bag them when they spawn. Also, don't forget that you can tag enemies, which shares their position with the rest of your team. Simply look down the sights and hit the assigned key or button. Finally, you also need to nail close quarters combat. When an enemy is in cover, you can disrupt their piece in a couple of ways. Run towards the cover and press the vault button to hop over the top and deliver a boot to the face, stunning them and allowing you to dispatch them with ease. If you don't have a run-up, you can alternatively yank them over to your side and introduce them to your close friend, Mr. Nashi Mokshuti. Lastly, once you've used all these skills together to down an enemy, rather than waste ammo and time with a weapon, you can simply execute them at the press of a button. Time to finish this. Hush now, sweet prince. Sleepy time. For a limited time, if you pick up a GeForce GTX 1080 or 1070 graphics card or a GeForce GTX 1080 or 1070 powered notebook, you'll also get a copy of Gears of War 4 absolutely free.